Hey, you guys. Here, let me turn this off. It's a fan right here because I know I'm about to get hot. Um, I'm about to flat iron my hair. As you guys saw last night, I twisted my hair. I washed, con deep conditioned, and then detangled and twisted my hair up. The only things I used in my hair, the only thing I used in my hair last night was this revitalizing leave-in conditioner by Jane Carter Solutions. As you can see, it's very thin, so it shouldn't affect the actual flat iron process. Because you know if you use a regular condition, a leave-in conditioner, a thick one, and try to flat iron, it's going to be like gummy or I don't know how to explain it but you know what I mean so I only use this really really thin leave-in heat protectant this is what it says it's supposed to do and this morning or rather like an hour ago I misted a little bit more of this on my hair and put some coconut oil on my hair so co coconut oil has a burning temperature or cooking temperature high cooking temperature of about 360 degrees so um, that's that and I'm also going to be using as a heat protectant I'm also going to be using this Chi 44 iron guard so I'm not just using the coconut oil I'm actually using a um, heat protectant so on to the flat iron I'm using the same flat iron I used last time or last year around this time it's the argon heat flat iron I don't remember how much I bought it for maybe 50 or 60 dollars um, it has heat settings on it that range from 1 to 30. However, I lost the actual pamphlet that goes to this flat iron, so I know that it has a high temperature of 450. However, I don't know the individual settings, so I had to actually do some math to figure it out. So the low temperature normally on flat irons is about 180 to 200 degrees. And since the high temperature on this is 450 degrees and there's 30 heat settings, that means that puts each setting from 1 to 30 in intervals of 5 because it goes in intervals of 5, like 1, 5, 10, 15. Intervals of 5 at about 8 degrees a piece. So <clears throat> I am going to flat iron on 20, which should be about... 360 degrees and if I need to increase or decrease from there then I'll just do so but <laughs> sorry for the algebra lesson <laughs> but that was just my theory in the temperature so I'm gonna do about 20 and we'll see how it goes that should be about 360 um yeah so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go one setting at a time one setting one section at a time and I'm gonna do the comb and chase method and I am going to I'm gonna need a comb actually hold on y'all this little girl about to get on my dang old nerves so I can't find my rat tail comb with the small teeth on it because my daughter has been using it on her doll's hair and I have no clue what she did with it so I'm going to have to use a combination of these two. I might just use this one because it has really, really thin teeth on this end, and um, or small teeth. And um, yeah, so I'm going to be do, doing the comb and chase method with one of these two. Also, how I'm going to do this, since I'm about to start, I'm going to go one twist at a time. And is that out the way? No, it's not really. I'm going to go one twist at a time. And, um... So I took it out. I'm going to go one twist at a time, spray some of the, the Chi Iron Guard on it, and comb it through, and then just commence to actually flat ironing. All right, so I'll probably end up speeding this up for you guys, so I'll stop talking at this point, and I'll see you guys when I'm done.
Yeah. So I'm gonna turn it down to 15. before I show it to you really really quickly um, one is I did I fluctuated between the 15 and 20 set setting which should be about 300 degrees 360 degrees something like that or 360 350 something like that so um, I didn't get my hair bone straight and I would rather it not be bone straight and not heat damaged than to go for a bone straight look and then get heat damage so it's not bone straight um, also I don't think in my opinion I didn't get as much uh, length retention this um, over this past year versus last year at least I don't think so and that maybe because this year I trimmed a lot more than I would normally do and that's because of the color and I felt like I had a lot of uh, split ends and um, what do you call those things? Single strand knots and stuff. So I didn't actually, I, I mean, I don't feel like I retained as much length as I could have. Because uh, I was trimming a lot more than I normally would. And yeah, basically I was trimming a lot. Um, what else? Last thing, really quick. I know you're guys are like, just turn around. But <laughs> last thing, really quick. I'm only going to wear this for about a week. And then I'm going to wash it out. But throughout the week, I'm going to come and show you guys some styles that I want to try on straight hair. Um, oh, and also, I put it back in a ponytail. But I, at the end of it, I, uh, there was some little scraggly in. So I trimmed it and was like half an inch. Another trim. So, um, that's that. So let me take this out really quick. And I don't know if it really set in any wave. And I'll just comb it, brush it out really quickly. And then I'll turn around. I might go across the room so you guys could maybe see it more clearly. Um, because I don't know if you guys will be able to see from right here. 
um, yeah. Okay, so I don't even know if I'm in the day on shot. All right, so that's it. Um, it's actually at bra strap length. I am, if it matters, because you know, tall, short, I'm 5'5", five, five, like 5'4", five, 5'5", five, five. and um, yeah. So I'm going to go across the room and maybe you guys could see it over there. I don't know. In relation to my length, or in relation to how tall I am. That's what I'm trying to say. And this is, yeah, my bra strap is right here, so it's a teeny... The ends are a little bit past um, bra strap length. Okay. So, that is it you guys. I gotta run out. If there's any other questions or if I forgot to mention something, then leave it below. I'm gonna try to edit this video down, but it's probably gonna be long as shit. I'm sorry. But, um...